Hello, sacred souls. It's Susanna from Alemanic Shaman. What I have here for us tonight is letting go of the past and the need to look back and to start enjoying the present moment, enjoying the now, and looking ahead towards the future. And that means opening the heart and letting go of past hurts and letting them float away. Um, also, Asking our ancestors that are in the light for help with this healing that shall also help heal our lineages, which is why I put the bones there to represent our ancestors, our DNA, our bloodlines. Um, they're turkey bones, but, you know, they shall just represent bones representing our DNA. Um, and then I have a tuning fork for the heart, so I'll, you know, hit that a few times and that resonance, resonance shall help us with the heart healing. And I chose the spiral candle, the white spiral candle to, again, like represent our connection with the divine within us as well as outside of us represented by the spiral and you know the divine like the purity right so i think that's pretty much it um yeah i was guided to that basically in a dream last night where i was considering going back like into my past and i knew that was no longer an option so like, well, when I woke up, I knew instantly like that was no longer an option. So I knew that that was part of what still needed to be healed, that looking back and, you know, going, th playing it through our minds, the what if, and maybe that would help or be different or this or that. Just no more what ifs, right? The past is the past and we're going to leave it there. And we're just going to enjoy the present moment. All right. We're going to smudge and get this started properly. Hi. <laughs> okay, so just a moment to light a few of the sage leaves. Actually, perfect. If I have two hands, I can light them both almost simultaneously, which should be a little faster. There we go. I want one more. Oh, wow. It's so humid that this one actually bent. It wasn't that dry. Okay. Please cleanse, clear, and renew all of our energies and flood us with massive amounts of healing light, unconditional love, blessings, and protection from the divine. And so it is. Thank you. Danke schön, all my relations. All right. Dear Creator, Higher Power, Source and Soul Energy, Our Higher Selves, our higher spirit guides of the light, our ancestors that are in the light, dear Mother Earth, and the four elements, air, earth, fire, and water. Please join the ceremony and assist the healings, prayers, and protection with all of your powers. Thank you. Please close the circle of protection around us. Thank you. <sighs> okay. I ask that we heal from any and all trauma, hurt, pain, and suffering that we still carry within us from the past. And this could be from this lifetime or past lifetimes or damage that was passed down through our lineage, through our DNA, where dysfunctional behavior was passed down from parents to children to their children and so on. 
and they were trying to do the best as parents as they could, but they weren't able to be better parents. They weren't able to give unconditional love because they never received it and they didn't know how. That the way they loved us was the best way that they could. And we realized that and we let go of all that pain. <sighs> that pain shall come out of us. And we're sending it in, whoops, sorry, <laughs> sending it into the light for healing and transmutation to be transmuted into pure love and light and to be returned to source energy for reintegration. And we shall be massively flooded with pure divine love light energy. <sighs> It shall come into us through our crown chakra and go all the way down into every part of our body, mind, spirit, soul, energy field, and our emotions, all the way down to the toes and fingers. And it shall surround us to keep us safe, shielded, and protected. Every fiber and aspect of our being shall be flooded with this divine light and we shall receive that deep heart understanding, that heart knowledge that we can't get with the mind, but that we truly understand our parents and caregivers and that may include older siblings or cousins, grandparents and uncles, aunts, etc. Anyone who was looking after us when we were children. We understand that they did the best they could and we let go of any anger, hate, and resentment that we're holding on to. It's time to let that go. We let that float away and forgive them. We bless them with love and send them forgiveness, understanding, and compassion. And we let that all go freeing all of us from these toxic burdens, these toxic patterns, and freeing our lineages from this toxicity so that we can all have healthier relationships. <sighs> and so it is. Thank you. Dankeschön, all my relations. Oh, whoops. to actually explain this earlier I just knew I had to put the bones like this but I didn't realize why um, this is basically representative of the box that we were put in by traditions by norms by the way we were taught things are supposed to be by any and all restrictions that we learned as children and growing up through our families, through our cultures and traditions, through our countries. 
uh, through school and, you know, all the other influences that we've had in our lives. It is time to open that up. We're no longer in a box. We no longer fit a box. And the four bones are there for the four directions. So, oops, I should move that a little bit away. Let's see. Sorry, one sec. I'll make sure I can put this bone down. And get this one. Okay. Ooh, it's a bit of a balancing act. Hold on. Right. This might be better. No. This is better. Okay, here we go. That works. Wow. And this is actually showing a cross, which symbolizes two things. Like the first one that comes to mind is the Celtic cross, where all four sides are the same length. But of course, anyone who also resonates with the Christian cross, uh, that's also one of the interpretations. I mean, Yeshua Sananda is the spirit guide guide for many of us, I believe. Well, definitely mine. Um, but the Celtic cross, that also goes back to my ancestors and the bones represent my ancestors as well as well as yours. And even though not everyone may have Celtic ancestry, the medicine wheel actually existed in many cultures in ancient times. Um, I'm not sure exactly about all the cultures in which it existed. I know in native culture it did, but also in ancient Europe, which then of course was also like the Celtic cross, but it was also like they also had a medicine wheel. But I think also in some Asian countries, don't quote me on it, please. <laughs> I didn't think that would come up, so I didn't exactly research that part now. But I remember coming across it, and um, it did exist in ancient times in many cultures. So the medicine wheel is also for healing. It's very representative. And now is a very important time of healing. Heart healing, which is why I chose the heart bowl. That shall help all of us because the more healed we are, the more we can also positively influence others. Hold on, let me just move one thing out of the way here. I had something there with my little cheat sheet, so I would have the topic there. There you go. Okay. So. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the it also represents the four directions. Same as over here, the four elements, right? The four directions also representing not getting lost, but knowing our way. And we are on the spiritual path. We are working on our own healing and we're in the ascension process. But a big, big part of it is also being in the now. So not just the process, we got to enjoy the journey, right? So oh. mm. whoops, <laughs> Let me just do it more down here. Our hearts are now so filled with the divine love light energy, with a divine consciousness, Christ consciousness, whatever you feel comfortable calling it. We're asking for that ascended consciousness to come to us and help us heal every aspect 
of our emotional heart that still needs healing. Okay, anyone who wants to stay in these energies a little bit longer, please pause the video. For the rest of us, let's finish up. Let the ceremony now be finished and accept our love, thanks, gratitude and blessings. Please open the circle of protection around us, but keep us very strongly safe, shielded, and protected. And so it is. Thank you. Dankeschön, all my relations. <sighs> okay, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, for being a part of the ceremony, and for working on your own healing and ascension. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And I'm also sending you tons of love and light, many blessings. And I wish you great abundance. Be well until next time. Bye.